Yo ninjas, let's react to Alvin vs Ising at the Red Bull BC1 2022 in New York. I really like both of them, so I'm very curious to see. He looks very relaxed. He definitely looks relaxed Taking his time. Out there. He has a good stage presence. Nice. Direction changes a little bit. Tap meal flares, air flare to elbow, elbow tracks. Nice. Clean, very clean. Changing levels a lot. Breeze. Sharp and clean. Really taking his time. You can see all the movement clearly. Looks very, very confident. It was all rounded. Sharp. Ising. Powerful. Whoa. He's very fast and explosive. He also looks confident. Nice. Original flares and super variations. Whoa, that was hard. One and a air flare to thread in. Grab. Whoa, that was crazy. Let's see it again. What he did now, it was crazy. The level was so high. Very nice variation, original, direction changes, one-ended, one-ended air flare to tread like this inside, that was dope. A little bit of leg works, then tread on the windmill, and direction changes with the tread again. That was very nice, here, and then tread inside with the head, still grabbing the foot, dope. Damn. Wow, very clean, very clean round. High backflip. Still very confident. Slower. Taking his time. But you don't have to be fast all the time. You can change levels, change directions, change speed. Oh. His control on the hands is something else. A little bit of footworks, freeze. Oh, and he ended. Ethan's feeling good after that first round. He looks. Alvin looks very relaxed and controlled. Both displaying their confidence Ethan in the is more rounds, explosive instead, faster. Still, looks relaxed. Even in his speed, that was crazy. Next level. Doing this. Doing this combo in the second round is not easy. It requires a lot of stamina. It's hard. <laughs> Let's see it again. Air flare, air flare, elbow tracks, elbow tracks, one-ended elbow tracks, and then chair flare to the elbow. Oh, this leg work was very nice here. What was that? Kind of like going inside with the leg. A little bit of hooking, I don't know, with the right freeze. Jumping and landing in the hook. That was very nice. A little bit of footworks, a freeze at the end, very sharp, very clean. Until now, Isin rounds are stronger than Alvin. Alvin is still very good. They have two very different approaches. Alvin more relaxed, more calm, very confident, but doing a little bit less. Ising is putting a lot of content in his rounds. The difficulty of the movements of both b-boys is very very high. I would say Ising is a little bit higher in terms of difficulty of movement and even flow. The level is a little bit higher but I know Alvin can do better if he wants. Where Alvin has more confidence and control, Ising have more variations and arsenal and power. Let's see the third round. Here we go. Taking his time again, very relaxed again. Nice entrance, again, crazy control, this is so hard to do, <laughs> oh, sharp freeze, what was that, let me see it again after the freeze, nice, footwork, freeze again, after a reverse shoulder spin, Let's see, last round is seen. Taking his time. 
Nice, explosive again. Whoa, that was hard. This is not like a normal windmill to chair flare, but if you notice, when he goes on his back, he lifts himself up from the right side. Instead of going towards the left side, he goes towards the right side to connect the kind of backspin, let's call it, and a chair flare look. From here, he goes to the right, right, air chair, and then chair flare here with the legs closed. This is also very, very hard. Bam. Again, oh, that was crazy. Let me see it again. He's very unexpected. The moves he does are original. He's creative. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, nice leg work here. Very nice, very nice. Direction changes again. It looks like he's going clockwise, but then he's going counterclockwise and then clockwise again. Very, very cool. His scene style is a little bit more complicated and it's harder to really understand everything he does because it's very quick but with a lot of details so you really have to watch carefully. Alvin's style, it's a little bit easier to understand even if it's very hard to execute. Both of their style are very, very hard to execute. I would say Isin is a little bit more original, Alvin is a little bit more technical. Some people may prefer more Alvin, some people may prefer more Isin. For me, they are both very, very dope. But in this specific battle, in my opinion, Isin took it. All three rounds, I would say. For me, it's pretty clearly for Isin. Let's see the judges. Oh, all the judges for Isin. Let me know in the comments what you think about the battle, which style you like the most, who won in your opinion and why. If you think, for example, Isin won, let me know why. Don't just say Isin won for me. Same thing for Alvin. If you think Alvin won, let me know why. I really want to know the reasons. Thanks for watching. See you next time with a new video. Yo, ninjas!